Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be directed towards these guys from Mississippi, man. These fallouts from Great Millstone, Mississippi, um, they have changed the doctrine. And, uh, you know, just like so many other people who got kicked out of Great Millstone, the first thing they do, they want to change the doctrine. They get mad at Apostle Dahar, Apostle Aramlav, Apostle Kabar, Apostle Rakal, and the rest of the elders and the brothers. They want to get mad at them. Then they want to change the doctrine. It turn, it goes from you being in the truth and you doing the will of, of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to now the will is to one up and, and go against uh, the great millstone. Now, we didn't heard some bugged out doctrines. Really bugged out. And there is a pattern on certain doctrines that pop up that, you know, these niggas uh, leech on to and, and they continue to teach these doctrines as if it's truth. All right, and and one of them is the fact that they teach that we're in the new covenant, which we are not in the new covenant. It's not been fulfilled yet. All right. Now, with that being said, this is where it gets bugged out. These niggas say this is what bugged me out when I was watching this debate with Sakari. Okay, and Elazar is talking. Yo, these niggas from Mississippi. They said that they cannot die as of right now. As of right now, this very second, you hear my voice. They say that they cannot die. That is one of the most insane things you could say. Because you really testing the Lord when you say that. Do you... Uh, you going to tell the father of spirits. You going to tell <laughs> the king of kings, lord of lords, the alpha and omega, the most high, that you can't die. Because of the doctrine that you want to teach. That is prideful as hell. The fact that you could be in the flesh in the chains of darkness and then say you 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 can't die because you in the new covenant, man, these niggas is too far gone. They overcooked. It's crazy. They scatter brain, they crazy. They doctrine makes no sense. Okay. They just trying to make it fit. They coming up with all these precepts. They don't fit. It's it's crazy. It's madness. But I'm going to play some of this video and then I'm going to get some scriptures because it's, it's really madness. Jake really go to the extreme to, to try to convince themselves and other people and drag them down, man. Among my people are wicked men. These are some of them wicked men. The leaders of our people have led our people to err, led them astray. The blind leadeth the blind. This is this is. This is this is over the top stu stupidity, man. This is crazy. Like y'all gonna go infinity and beyond, Buzz Lightyear, just so y'all can just be different. But that's what wicked niggas do. Oh, man. I'm like twenty all day. I told you they resurrected. They're right now. You're right. Okay. Hold on, hold on. There, 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 there. They're here right now. And who are they? Hey man, this the man. actual elect, the man yeah. of our Lord, right. the ministers of the new covenant. Hey, what you looking at right now? Okay, so so you 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 you're one of the twelve. I mean, I don't know who I am. 
Or, but no, you just said it. You said I'm looking at them right now. So you got to be one of the twelve, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean we are okay, the only Okay, so can you can y'all die? I mean, we are the only one. Can you die? It is what it is. Hey, hey, it is. Hey, All right, brother. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna make a fuss about that. That's fine. My thing is, okay. can you die? Can I die? Yes. Mm -hmm. It said in the second covenant, it has no death. Okay, hey. so you. So you, are you telling me that y'all can't die? According to the scriptures, we can't die. To can die. According to the scripture, it, it, it has no death. Oh, shit. <laughs> you wanna, you all, wanna, right. Wanna, all right, go ahead. Whatever y'all got, you, man. Go ahead. These niggas can't die, man. Scripture. Let them talk, man. My fault. I'm going on mute. Go ahead, man. <laughs> These niggas can't die. Can no, we please take one mind. thing at a time, please? Uh, can we, let, let's start off from the beginning. Let's get the chance. Yeah. Madness, bro. Straight madness. Niggas said they can't die. Yeah, all right. You know, because me, hey, like the Lord, hey, the Bible says the Lord is slow to anger, all right? Now, but us being in the flesh, we get hyped. We like, oh, oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? We like, oh, oh, for real? But the Lord is slow to anger, so he ain't going to be quick to make an example out of somebody just because he could, you know, but, you know, yeah, it's been, a what, a week? You know, <laughs> it ain't like I ain't been watching, like, you know, one of them niggas, you know, say don't wake up the next day <laughs> or something, but it's like, yo, hey, yo, you, 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 hey, that's bold, baby, that's bold to say something like that, man, damn, just, just to push your doctrine, it's madness, but that's what they do, man, they get kicked out, they fall out, they bug out, and the next thing you know, they coming up with some crazy ass doctrine, man. It's, it's madness. Hey, this is Deuteronomy six and sixteen. It says, "Ye shall not tempt Yahweh your power, as ye tempted, as as ye tempted him in Massus." All right. So you don't want to tempt the Lord. What does it mean to tempt the Lord? It means to test, prove, tempt. All right. You don't want to test them. You know, like that song, Test My Gangster. You don't want to test the Lord's gangster, man. All right? You don't want to test the Lord, okay? That's what you don't want to do. And that's what these niggas is doing. They testing the Lord, man. And the Lord, hey, if it be his will, he might make a, a, a public example of these niggas. Because, hey, I'm going to tell you something. It's going to be a, a <laughs> hey, this, that video going to be re-ran. And it's going to be all over the place if one of them niggas actually die. Because it's going to be like, nigga, y'all play too damn much, man. But the Lord is, is long-suffering, man. All right? And he's merciful. You know, just like them ITR niggas. Man, I was always like, I couldn't stand them niggas. Them Israelite tried and ref refined dudes. He right here in Chicago, bug outs. They... they <laughs> They they said we're not giving it. the first thing they they started with was we made a pact, an agreement we're not gonna give the, the elders double honors no more. And then it trickled down to, you know they you could smoke weed and then the earth is flat and the we not in the new covenant and the twelve tribes chart ain't ain't accurate and and it was just it was one thing after another and one thing after another and now the head of Israelites tried and refried. Nazariah and the rest of his uh, his minions, all right. They don't even believe in Yahweh Shai now. The, the Lord took the spirit off them dudes, man. Ben, be Ben did it, but he officially took it off. Like you can't even call on my son. You don't even believe in him. The Lord took that spirit away from them, cause they tempted the Lord, man. And now these niggas come with another one, tempting the Lord. All right. These niggas really think this is a, this is some type of joke or something. This is Ecclesiasticus 10 and 12. The beginning of pride is when one departeth from God and his heart is turned away from his maker. That's exactly what's happening right now with those dudes, man. They're departing from God, man. They don't even know it. They can't even see it. That's how wicked they are, man. They're turning from the Lord. They don't even see it. We see it. We see them drifting off. All right? 
ever learning but not coming into the, the, the truth of, uh, of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Just like them, uh, them idiots from Detroit. Um, they call themselves the Good Samaritans. Where they at, man? Where Jake and Elwood at? Gone. They ain't seen them idiots. And, and, and whoever Buddy was, the head of, the ex head of Detroit with that damn Gucci scarf. A bunch of idiots, man. But they had pride. And now they're gone. Verse 13 For pride is the beginning of sin. And he that hath it shall pour out ab abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. The Lord overthrew them niggas, man. And the Lord's going to overthrow these niggas if they don't repent. So the Lord's going to give you a shot to repent. They got time to repent. They can repent. Beg the Lord for forgiveness and get back on the right track. But will they? I doubt it. I doubt it. I really doubt that. Because that pride is strong in these niggas, man. It's very strong. This is James 3 and 10. It says, Out of the same mouth proceeded blessings and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. All right? So you can't be speaking cursings and blessings out of the same mouth. You can't be over here saying... All right, you're a Hebrew Israelite, all right, all right, and and and, 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 and you know, so-called Negroes, Native Americans, all right, the Latinos are the true biblical Israelites, all right. But you don't have to call on the true name of the Lord; you can call him Jesus. That's a that's a that's a that's a curse. You just gave the man a blessing, you told him his true nationality. And then you switched it up and then said that yeah, you can call on Jesus. That's not right. The true name of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. You have to give his correct name. That's just like that's just like um IUIC. They do a lot of great things. I'm gonna keep it real, they do. But they don't teach the name of the Lord. So a lot of them are gonna get destroyed. Some gonna come out of it. If you're of the elect, if you're of the chosen, if you if you're the one selected to have mercy. But those that continue in that doctrine, man, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, hey, they're going down. But it's just the Lord's will. Verse eleven: Do they fount? Do do they fountain? Send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter. Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries? Either a vine, figs. So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh. So you can't have them both. You got to have one without the other. You can't do both. You got to have one way, which is the straight way, which is the correct way of the Lord. All right? The correct path. All right? The correct doctrine. All right, verse 13, who is a wise man and uh, endued uh, with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter and strife in your hearts glory not and lie not against the truth that's what they're doing now they're at the point where they're lying against the truth all right they're lying against the truth these idiots all right the idiots right here they're lying against the truth that's where they're at right now they're lying and the Lord hates a liar. So they're gonna change the doctrine up, they're lying on the Lord, and they're gonna and they're gonna suffer for it if they don't repent. The Lord ain't dealing with that, man. We done seen this episode before, man. It's nothing new to us. But if they don't repent, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna know it by death, by pain. 
as the scriptures say. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai.